continent wraps up Africa Month. Calls have been made to Africans across the continent to position Africa as the alternative voice at the time when Western powers are divided. The election of Donald Trump and the growing right-wing parties in Europe has divided the superpowers. The AU anthem reverberating across the continent as Africans on the continent and around the globe celebrated Africa Day, a call for Africa to take its rightful place. This, as the Western powers seem to be divided. I mean, Africa has got to say itself that this is the moment when if they cannot think of a better world, we should think of a better world and put an agenda on the table and get them to respond to this agenda. Mm. So it's, it's an opportunity for us, if we take it. A notion supported by the former president. As Africans, we must think for ourselves. When he talks about we must theorize our own reality. In a sense, we've got to decolonize our minds. The former president also weighed in on the current debate on fake news. Take the Iraq war, 2003. Mm. And, the, and the Bush administration pushes this notion, supported by the British, that there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Mm. Who sold that story to the public in the US? It was the mass media. Mm. It's the same mass media which is saying, uh, uh, what, let's be on the lookout for fake news. The very purveyors of fake news for many decades. While the continent is still battling to stop pockets of conflicts in countries such as the DRC, South Sudan and Libya, democracy is being entrenched. This year, some African countries will go to the polls, among them Lesotho and Kenya. An indication that the ballot is the first choice in promoting democracy instead of dictatorship. This in line with the AU Agenda 2063, a strategic framework for socio-economic transformation of the African continent. Sophie Mugwena, SABC News, Johannesburg.